This is my 4G wireless modem, courtesy of Spark here in New Zealand, and I've purchased an extension aerial or antenna if you prefer to see if I can get a slightly faster internet speed. Not that I have a problem with it, but I thought I would try it anyway. I haven't gone to the extent of an external antenna that you'd fit on the roof, which I'm sure would add, add a few dB to it. But this is an internal one on, on a remarkably short cable of about two, maybe three meters. So I'm going to show you what happened, see if it's any good. There are two sockets on the back of the modem and they're both labelled differently. But the plugs on the antenna are exactly the same. These are the plugs on the end of the cable. There's no identification on them whatsoever. I'm not totally convinced it makes any difference anyway. But they are both exactly the same size. I've just measured them at 3.7 millimetres. For some reason or other, the wires are completely independent. They're not joined anywhere, not, not joined anywhere. I would have expected them to be joined from about here, but still leaving you enough room to be able to move them. But as you can see, they're just two wires and there's no way you can make those tidy. This is the actual antenna itself and rather pleasant 4G antenna written on there. Quite thin. On the back there's some sticky stuff which is ultra sticky. This is the location of the router. Now it's not in the best position by any means. It's, it's, this is the edge of the TV and the TV is obviously has a metal back on it and to the left of it is one of my loudspeakers. So clearly not the best of locations. That's why I thought a remote aerial will improve my broadband pickup. Now I've plugged this into the router and I've been round and stuck it as high as I can. Bearing in mind the cable is probably mm, about two meters so I can't go any further than two meters away. But I've tried it on the wall here, I've tried it on the wall there and bearing in mind this is the outside wall so behind there there's just a layer of brick and plasterboard and some insulation. So that's typical for a Kiwi house I should say. And I've also tried it on the window here, actually on the glass. And I'm going to show you the results now. Right, we're back in the uh, workshop now. And the computer is actually connected via a cable to the modem. So we're not at the mercy of Wi-Fi. It's purely what we're picking up in speed in, in the case of download. And I have to say that the house here is located, there is no fibre available and copper is, well, unusable, as I'm sure you can imagine. So we have what's called wireless, wi wireless um, internet and it basically works on the 4G telephone network. And by and large, it's pretty good. And I know some of you in some parts of the world are going to say what you've got is pitiful and you're probably correct, but it's all we've got here. And I have to say, by and large, it works fine. I don't suffer from um, uploads of my videos take a bit of a time, but um, at the end of the day, I can stream in 4K. And so I don't really have any issues with it. But I thought where I've got the unit located, an external antenna which I could put up to the ceiling or on the window would possibly give me some better results. So 
I'll show you live now how it is with the existing modem stroke area, you know, the, the whole thing built in, and then I'll give you the results of the external antenna. And what I've done, um, I've moved it in six separate locations within the stretch of the wire, which isn't huge, I must admit, but, um, and I'm sure an external antenna mounted on the roof would be the better solution but I just thought I would try this and um, see if it warrants doing because I didn't really want to climb up on the roof drill holes in the wall when my internet is okay but I thought this might be a an alternative solution which might if it only betters it by 10% well that's 10% justifying the, the cost of doing it so these are my average figures over six different tries live the average was 42.57 and the upload was 5.29 now here's the magic bit with the aerial in six different locations the average is 24.09 up a uh, download and 1.75 upload and it didn't vary significantly from one location to another all right let's see if we can get inside this if i destroy it it's of no consequence because it's useless anyway i think i am going to destroy it i can't get it open it's obviously glued in. Oops. And if it did work, it certainly won't now. Because <laughs> I've just stuck the screwdriver right through the innards. I don't think we're going to find very much inside, to be honest. Oh, look at that. What a con. There is no active components. Oh, does that, is that me or does it look like that's all shorted? Look at this atrocious piece of workmanship. In fact, I don't even think that's connected. I don't think it's connected. No, it's not, it's not connected. But look at the soldering and the way the wires. Um, I think this needs a refund. I don't see why I should pay for this. This is ridiculous piece of junk. And the way that the two parts are just blobbed together, not, not even parallel to each other. So, well, yet another piece of quality landfill from China. Don't waste your I don't know why I keep falling for it. Where's my coffee?